Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Trainer Craft, where we teach you everything that you need to know to become a successful trainer. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can maximize your earning potential as a trainer. So let's delve straight into it. My first tip is for you to try to become an expert, an authority in your area of specialty. So that way you're able to command more money because when people see you as an expert, uh, they tend to have that belief, that trust in you to be able to deliver value to them in exchange for the money that they are going to be willing to pay you. So when people see you as an expert, it's easier for you to rise to the next level and for you to make more money. So my advice for you here is for you to come up with a plan to continue to better yourself, get better at your craft so that more and more people can continue to see you as an expert. So the more you're able to do that, then the more money you're able to command. My second tip is for you to get certified. When you're certified, people tend to have this level of confidence in you uh, to trust you to know what you're talking about when it comes to that area in which you're certified. Now, you need to keep in mind that certification by itself is not going to help you much if you're not able to show that uh, you have the skill, you know, if all you have is just paper certification. So if you're new, my advice to you would be for you to acquire a skill first and try to get really good at it and then get certified. The good thing about certification is that certification will open doors for you, right? And it gives you that little edge above those who are not certified. So you're able to make more money compared to when you are not certified. My third tip for you is to try to come up with passive income ideas that can make you money. Passive income, by the way, is a way of you delivering value in such a way that is not directly tied to your time. So what are some of these passive income ideas that you can consider? In this video, I'm going to be leaving you with three passive income ideas that you can choose from. There's so many of them, but I'll focus on three for the purpose of this video. My first passive income idea for you to consider would be for you to have a YouTube channel. Having a YouTube channel doesn't take much. All it takes is for you to have an account and then start rolling out content. Now, the, the good thing about starting a YouTube channel is that you don't have to start your YouTube channel with sophisticated gadgets, right? If all you have is a mobile phone with a camera, you're good to go. So you can record your videos on your phone. There are softwares that you can download on your phone to edit your uh, video content and put it up on YouTube. At a later time, once you're able to, or once you start making money from your YouTube channel, then you can consider upgrading the gadgets you're using, you know, to a better camera, you know, getting better lightning and so on. It is important for you to know that it's going to be a lot of work for you to run a successful YouTube channel. You're not going to make money from YouTube if you don't invest time in rolling out good content, right? So that's the only time you stand a chance of making money from your YouTube channel. You need to be willing to invest the time and be consistent with rolling out good content that will keep people really engaged. You know, that will keep people coming back to your channel for more of those contents. So that's when you can make money from YouTube. One quick hint that can also help when you are producing your video content is for you to try to invest a little bit in getting good lightning equipment, like a ring light, for example. When it comes to producing YouTube videos, you will find that lightning is going to make all the difference, right? But don't worry if you don't have the budget to get uh, lightning equipment to use. You can make use of natural light. Natural light is also going to serve you well. My 
My second passive income idea will be running your own podcast. Running a podcast is similar to running a YouTube channel. But unlike a YouTube channel, running a podcast is a little more difficult to uh, build followership around, right? So it's a little bit more difficult for you to get a podcast off the ground. But if you're willing to put in the work and you're consistent, then you should be able to record success. Don't have the mindset that once you launch your podcast, you're going to start getting listeners. So it's going to take a lot of work. You will need to be disciplined. You will need to be consistent and rolling out good content, just like I mentioned for YouTube as well. And from time to time, try to review which one of your content is getting the most download. And you try to focus on doing more of those kind of content, right? So once you're able to do that, then you have a chance of making money from your podcast. Hey, just a quick one. If you're interested in helping people learn or you like to brush up on your training skills, then you want to check up our free course on Skillshare. It's titled The Trainer's Manual. The Trainer's Manual course has a ton of very good content on how to help you become a good trainer. So I'll put a link in the description section if you'd like to check it out. So let's get back to the video. My third passive income idea would be to build an online course. Online course is another passive income idea that you can invest your time in, especially if you're a trainer. Even if you're not a trainer, all that it takes is for you to have a skill that you're good at and be willing to build a course around it. There's a lot that is involved in making an online course. I think I'm just going to have a separate video that details that one, but in summary, you need to first of all come up with title for your course and lessons that module that your course is going to have you need to write script and sometimes you might need to prepare a presentation slide for your course after you're through with that you need to record the course right once you're through with the recording you need to edit your course that's producing the course and this is where your editing skill is going to come in but don't worry if you don't have editing skill uh, is something that you can outsource to somebody else to help you manage. So after you've produced your course, you need to host your course somewhere, right? So you can decide to host it on your own personal website, or you can host it on platforms such as Udemy, Skillshare, and so on. And then the last phase would be for you to market the course so that you can make money from the course. Again, just like I've mentioned with the previous ideas, because you've invested time to build an online course does not mean that you're going to make money from it. For you to make money from your online course, you need to invest quality time into it, making sure that the course is a course that is delivering value to people, is a course that people are willing to pay for. So once you invest quality time to deliver value to people, then you stand a chance of making money from your online course. All right, to wrap this all up, focus on what you're good at and don't worry so much about what others are doing to make money, right? And uh, two, try to get certified because certification is going to open doors for you. And lastly, try to come up with ideas that can make you money in such a way that is not directly tied to your time. And I mentioned that is called passive income. All right, so if you like the video, let me know in the comment section down below and please check over here for similar content just like this one that can help you on your trainer's journey. So subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.